good to get the first one out of the way. My God, was it sloppy. Sloppy and dribbled the ball too much. Just got a lot of work to go, a lot of work. But it's good to get that first one out of the way, get some more film in that. So we got a long way to go. Too many turnovers, too many, gave up too many offensive rebounds, just got out hustled. Uh, you know, those are things you can't do against good teams. And, and if we do that against good teams, we'll get beat. So, you know, I, like I've always say, I don't coach the score, I coach the game. So I don't care if we're down 20, up 20, I'm gonna coach the same way, and I expect the same effort. And we didn't get that tonight, but, you know, I thought when we moved the ball around and all that, we got some good stuff. So, you know, overall, it's good to get the first one out of the way, and uh, we got to build up. We got to get a lot better. Got to get a lot better. Any questions, Coach? When you think uh, um, with Lene and, and her rebounding, obviously that that kind of stands out. But now, obviously, she has more of an offensive focus uh, mm -hmm. to her game. So, does that kind of change her whole you know aspect on rebounding? Yeah. Or, well, here's or, the thing: we got to have other people help her. Yeah. I mean, our, our two, three, and fours have to rebound, and, they, and they're not rebounding. I mean, if, if Lene, if our five doesn't get to rebound, if you look, Lene had uh, 18 rebounds and Dez had 12 right. or five, and then look at the rest of them. We, we've got to get other people involved. Tiana had seven, but she's got to get more. Christina King got to get it, had three rebounds in 19 minutes. We, we can't do that and win. We can't always count on our fives to do all the rebound because eventually people are going to start pulling our fives out and, and other people are going to have to rebound. And we're, we're just not getting in there. I thought the first half of coming, we had so many fast break opportunities just turn the ball, just poor execution on the break. Poor execution on the break. I thought the second half we did a better job on that. For um, Lene, uh, you know, you think back to when she comes in as a freshman, she's injured and, and red shirts, and, you know, she's always had that defensive presence. From then to, to now, how much has that picture? Oh, how, she has worked hard. Lene, great, Lene's a great young lady and works hard. Man, I, I hope she has a great year this year because she deserves it. If anybody deserves a great year this year, it's Lene Montgomery because she's worked as hard, if not harder, than anybody on the team over the last five years. Hey coach, what do you think about your uh, backcourt today? Uh, just moving the ball tempo-wise, just pushing the ball up and down the court? Oh, I thought we had good tempo getting up and down the floor, but didn't make good decisions. And then we had people open, we stood there and dribbled the ball and didn't pass it to the We can't be choosy. Well, I don't need a bunch of Magic Johnsons out there. I need people to come down and make the routine play and just pass it to the open man. That, 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 there's an idea. Just throw it to the open person. And, and I don't need people to come in there and throw passes across their body, clear across here and all that. Just throw it to the open people, get ball movement, get the defense going from strong side to weak side, and you can break them down. It, it, you know, basketball is not real difficult. you got to make people close out on you and, and reverse the ball, move the ball, and don't stand there and dribble. When one person stands there and dribbles the ball out, you got four people watching. Well, now we have no movement. That's not good. That's not good. Not real happy with our play. And I understand it's the first game, but we got a long way to go. Long way to go. And then we got some other girls that are injured a little bit. I can't play them the minutes I won. I mean, it, it, it's a little frustrating right now because I got to put up with some stuff that I normally wouldn't put up with because I don't have anybody put in. So we got to correct what we're doing here. I guess Muldrow's okay. I mean, she like yeah, she, she was getting cramps. Lord, I'm glad that's all it was. <laughs> right. I mean, that's, that's all we need. Yeah. And then, you know, Lexus has an injury. Uh, Katrina Pardee has an injury. and But they're, you know, they're gutting it out and trying to get some minutes in. But, right. I mean, it's it, we we got to get people healthy with the bodies we have. And Marlena Smith didn't play because she sprained her ankle yesterday. So, I mean, we just got to keep people uh, healthy. and. The issue is in practice, what do you do? You go hard, you do contact, you go live, because you just can't get people hurt. But you got to put them in that situation because you get in a game, you could tell we, we weren't up and down enough in practice because we, our decision making was not good. I just got to find a happy medium somehow. The, the ones who are, are out, uh, Nia and, and uh, Isha yeah. and uh, McCune, uh, yeah. have you decided on red shirts? No, they're out. I, the, the, the two guards. 
Aisha and it won't be released to after the season. Uh, Chris McCune may be released to start some contact maybe in January, February, but you know, there's no use wasting a year. Or, right. You know what I mean? So no, the, all three of them will sit out the year. Okay. Uh, retro? I mean, yeah, they'll get a medical retro. Is that, with that works too? I didn't know she was. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All three of them. Uh, maybe not the best debut for Christina. Is that just a, a speed of the game thing? Is she like on the brink of breaking out? She got a lot to learn. I said it all along. She 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 got a lot to learn defensively, offensively. She has a lot to learn, and uh, it's good. You know, we we need to continue to get her minutes, so she'll get more confidence. I thought in the first half she had better minutes. She had she started getting a little confidence, and then the second half because of breakdowns defensively and that, you know. But we just got to get keep getting her playing time. We just got to keep getting her playing time. Would you say you got into a better rhythm uh, after, after going into the second half? Uh, you shot 54 percent from three point in the third in the third quarter, 83 percent from the field. Do you think that was by coincidence or is no? It was by my halftime speech. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was by. And again, I could give a lot of speeches if I had more players on that bench. I mean, the playing time, there's the only one thing I can control as a coach, and that's playing time. And, and, and you either play the right way. If you don't, usually you sit, okay? But I, like I said, i got to put up a little bit of stuff because of numbers, and, and that's not a good feeling. So we got to be mature enough as players to understand, even though we don't have a deep bench, we got to keep getting better. we got to keep getting better. It seems like you guys can still sort of, Still lean on defense. I mean, you guys did hold them to you know seventeen percent shooting, yeah, which is. But we gave up way. I mean, I, we gave up way, way wide open shots. They just didn't hit them. I mean, right. let's be honest. Um, we'll break that film down, and we made a lot of mistakes defensively. I tell you what, I, I thought Andrew Martin come off the bench, played hard. I, I was happy with that. Uh, you know, Alexa, she come in and settled us down a little bit, but again, she's got an injury, so she really can't go full speed. And then Katrina got in foul trouble, mainly because she has an injury and, and can't move her feet very well. So, I mean, it's just one of those things we just got to get through. We got to get through this first part. Then Pat does our schedule. So we play, we play again on Tuesday, and then we play probably again on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, we, no, I'm just kidding. I mean, it, this is not a year to play a lot of games quick, all right, because of a lack of bodies, but it is what it is. We go to the Savannah tournament and we play three games in a row, back to back to back. And, and that's going to be tough when you don't have a lot of bodies to put in. It really is, but it is what it is and we got to fight through it. And that's why you can't coach the score, you have to coach the game. And, and you know, even though we were up 50, we were making mistakes out there. Say we're not up 50. Say say they're up five. We we we've got to be able to fight through that and make good decisions.